So I think the biggest problem with uh, normal logging, error logging with the Switch CRM is that if your log is set to be a bit, a little bit more verbose, then you're going to have a hard time finding your uh, information, whatever it is that you're logging in your um, log file. And also the other problem is that sometimes you're missing context. You don't know what's happening right now in the inside your app. So I suggest copy pasting this function that I have here. And what it's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to write functions like this. So you can write write to log. Then you're going to put the array and then the comment hello. So this can contain information about variables. So if you have certain variables that you want to see what they are right now, you can put them there. And the most powerful feature of this function, I think, is the ability to write objects. So here you can write an object, which is going to basically contain, well, I mean, it's going to contain your object. So you're going to see all the properties and everything that's happening inside of it. Uh, and all of the property values are going to be shown right away on the screen, which is very useful. It's going to put it in the custom slash log.txt and it looks something like this so you can say that it detects uh, like this is the comment this is the timestamp this is the contents of the array i mean this is the comment and this is the contents of the array if you declare it just as an empty array it's not going to put anything it's just going to be just a comment and uh, the last thing to mention that's important is that this is going to be compiled into the following file. You need to write it into the following file. So custom extension application extension utils, custom utils.php. When you rebuild it, sometimes you're going to make mistakes in your code and it's like going to quote unquote break your sweet CRM installation. You're going to get a fatal error. You're not even going to be able to repair and rebuild your system. So whenever that happens, don't worry, just fix your problem and then delete this file here because this custom utils.php is going to get compiled into custom utils.ext.php, which is inside custom application extend utils custom utils. Uh, uh, this file here. So slightly different path. You see the path changes slightly. So you delete this, repair and rebuild, restart, and you'll be good to go. So I found this extremely helpful for my troubleshooting, a lot more powerful than uh, normal um, logging, and hopefully it helps you as well. If you found this helpful, please leave a like. I'll put a link to the function uh, code in the description, and uh, make sure to subscribe because more of these videos will be made in the future. Thank you.